Hello everyone, this is Mike Sangvi from vlamon.com and I am back with another video tutorial on data warehousing concept and in this video we are going to discuss about what is data normalization or normalization. So this is the content for this video, uh, data normalization. Before explaining what is data normalization, uh, see this scenario. Assume we have three database table. First table contain customer age related information. Second table contains sales related information. How much purchasing is done by a particular customer. So this table contains customer name, order number and invoice total. And third table contains customer contact details. Now as you see my customer name column is available in all three tables and this is duplicate duplicate records or redundant records uh, I can avoid this how and why why we have to avoid this uh, assume my each name using 8 bytes of data so for this the name column is using 40 bytes of data why 8 into 5 rows equals 40 byte data my sales order table contains 10,000 records. My name column is using 8 byte for each record into 10,000 rows. So 8 into 10,000 equals to 80,000 bytes. And the third is my customer contact information. Again this table contains 5 records. Each contact for each customer. My name is using 8 byte. So 8 into 5 records 1 2 3 4 5 8 into 5 equals to 40 bytes so my total data usage by only name column is 18080 bytes so i think we are wasting wasting lots of lots of space or database space or very useful space so how to avoid this scenario how to avoid Mm, data wastage, uh, space wastage, how to remove these duplicate records. Uh, let's see the next slide. Okay. Now, in this, we create another column in our customer table ID, and ID is an integer column. We assign a unique ID to each customer so one for Tom two for Mike three for Rose four for John and five for Bill and we replaced customer name with customer ID same thing we done for contact table now what is the benefit of this see our where care column use 8000 bytes of data or more than that based on your database your integer or if you want to use big int or big integer int use 4 bytes and big int use 8 byte maximum so for this scenario uh, assume we are using integer column so we are using maximum 4 bytes of data so in this scenario how much data we are using or uh, what how much amount of space we are using we are using only 5 into 2 sorry I have to place 4 here so let me correct it quickly so this is 4 into 5 equals to 20 so for this we are using 20 bytes of data plus name assuming we are using 8 bytes so 8 byte into 5 equals to 40 bytes so we are using 40 bytes now our integer maximum is 4 bytes so we are assuming that these integer are using 4 bytes for each row so our customer sales order table contain 10 records so 4 into 4 10,000 equals to 40,000 and same for I done the same mistake here 
each ID is using 4 bytes so we have 5 records 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so 4 into 5 equals to 20 bytes so in this scenario we are actually using how much space? Uh, we are using 20 this 20 plus 40, 60 plus this 20 we are using total 40,080 bytes and previous scenario previous slide we are using 80,000 80,000 80 bytes so using a integer column we save lots of space lots of lots of space I am saying the maximum size of where care is 8 bytes and I am assuming that the customer name is taking 8 bytes maybe there is scenario th where your customer name is using more than 8 bytes then what is the figure for this scenario or what is the figure in this scenario and let's say my customer name is using 100 bytes in some cases so may this figure is very large so we save lots of lots of space using integer column now it's time to define normalization okay normalization is a process of uh, dividing your large table into multiple small tables or organize your data in such a way that it reduces data redundancy so here our name is repeating in all the tables so we create a new column ID column let me mm, pointer option it is all in one side ok pointer option it is all in now as I told in normalization is a process of removing duplicate data so how we are removing duplicate data for this scenario we create an extra column ID we assign a unique ID to each customer and then we as using this ID column in other another tables so this is the one way to normalize your database tables now I am going to show you another table another scenario ok now this is my again a customer table now customer table contains country related information now for the time being I am, sho I am showing only 10 records and let's say assume I have millions of records in this table so I have lots of customer belongs to India I have lots of customer belongs to Australia I have lots of customer belongs to United States and so many people are going to belong from United Kingdom so in this scenario or for this scenario my country related information is repeating multiple times see my India is here my India is here my United States is here my United States is here so in this million records my country name is repeating multiple times so I have to find a way so I can remove the duplicate records so how to remove this duplicate records again I divide this large table into two small table now my first table contains only country related information I assign a unique ID to each country and then I am going to use this ID in my customer table now how its benefit again assume my country each row is using 800 bytes and my India country in this table is repeating let's say 10,000 times so my 800 800 into 10,000 is a very large figure but we replaced our country name with an integer ID and the maximum size of ID is 4 bytes 
so 4 into 10,000 is a small figure so in this way we can normalize our data we can remove duplicate records we can reduce our space usage and so many things and so many benefits of normalization one more benefit of normalization is your query performance your query performance is very good in case of when you use ID column for joining ID column for filtering so your query performance is very high in case of ID so that's why we have to use normalization I show uh, in this video I show you how to use normalization why to use normalization and what is normalization now we have different types of normalization and I'm going to show these different types of normalization in my next video for this video keep practicing on normalization keep reading on normalization and if you have any doubt don't forget to leave a comment I will reply you as soon as possible so for the time being thank you for watching and see you guys in my next video don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and bye